hello good day you're welcome to another edition of our online class and today i want to talk about the solar power requirement for electric fence now i think uh, i've noticed it i've seen some job of recent uh, i think the, the the most recent was in benin i actually saw somebody who did an electric fence fine the looping is, is totally out I don't want to even talk about that but the solar requirement he used in powering the the solar panel he used in powering the electric fence was something it was it, it was it was disgusting it was annoying it was too small how can you be using a 20 watt panel to panel to sorry to power your your energizer that's just too small i also saw some one of them in Ogun state the guy used, I think, a 30 watt panel. These are small. These are small. By the time your energy start functioning, start working, the power this will draw, this cannot even charge it. So today I want to talk about the solar panel requirement you need to power your fence. Now, this let's say this is your solar panel. This is your battery, and this is your charge controller. What kind, what's the size of a solar panel do you need to get for your electric fence? For me, the recommended, I always tell anybody any day, is to get a 60 watt. So it means this ought to be a 60 watt, 60 watt solar panel. You need to get a 60 watt solar panel for uh, an energizer that you know most times it's work day it's only used mostly from let's say in the evening let's say from six or seven in the evening and if at the break of day they want to switch it off that is the kind of a panel you need to use for your energizer but if you are having an uh, energizer that will work round the clock there's this trick you should always understand that the seven amps or any other size five or seven amps battery that you have in most energizer cannot power this system round the clock if there's also if you're using just your your solar panel what you need to do is to adjust it instead of using the 60 watts you'll be using the 100 100 watt solar panel and this battery the seven amps or the five a five slash seven AH battery, 7 amps per hour battery, would not be able to carry that fence, that energizer, around the clock. So you need to also adjust your battery. So you might be using be using an external battery. We have a 3 uh, ampere per hour. AH. Then this is a solar panel. And this is a battery. This is any of the kind of uh, uh, the one you'll be using for the electric fence that you want to go around the clock if you want it around the clock you want to leave that fence 247 to remain on you can go for this this is ideal this will take you to a, this, this will work for a very for a very long time but for these five amps or the seven amps per hour battery it cannot take you around the clock so it is advised most of the jobs you see people using lesser panel lesser size a small size some use 30 some use 20 please you should desist from that adjust to this uh, how do you connect this system this is how it is connected okay from your solar panel this is your charge controller okay your charge controller you have a terminal there okay that this is one charge controller you might not be able to see well but here there's an inscription here, an inscription showing a solar panel, and the first terminal is this, which is um, the, the positive from your solar panel, this, and the next that follows is the negative from your solar panel. Maybe after that, you have your battery, you have your battery terminal here, which is this plus, and the battery terminal, the minus. Then also you have the load, the load output, this is plus and this is minus. But I'll show you where you need to connect to your energizer. So let's assume this is the enclosure of your energizer. This is the enclosure. You have the battery. 
this is enclosed inside the energizer this is the positive time terminal and this is the negative terminal all you need to do is to take draw the first cable from this to the positive of your solar panel um, uh, logo on your charge controller you take the positive from here from the solar panel either outside bring it all the way to the positive of your charge controller then the minus the negative take that also to the negative of your charge controller to the negative of your charge controller i hope this is well noted you can begin to do your own drawing separate just do your own drawing to understand it the minus from this comes to the minus of the charge controller here the plus of this uh, solar uh, panel comes to the plus of your charge controller then your 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 battery terminal what will power this you're going to take the output from this but let me tell you something first before you start connecting this you can bring just the positive and leave it there don't terminate it here because i will always advise you connect your battery terminal first to your charge controller before connecting solar so i don't want us to miss that always note that that before you connect this this i just have to because uh, for the case for the purpose of this course but what i'll do i'll leave the cable here i'm not going to terminate the terminal here i'll put i will just pause on connecting the other so it's not connected so i'll take the positive from this from the battery all the way to this so i'm taking the positive of the battery to the positive terminal of this logo the battery uh terminal of your charge controller then the negative take this to the negative of your battery when this is connected your charge controller will pass up when it is up then you bring your solar you can now terminate this one to this so this is how it should be by the time you have a 60 watt uh solar panel charging this battery i can assure you if the energizer is going to be used for just uh, let's say from six in the evening to six in the morning this should be the seven seven or five amps seven or seven or five amps battery should be able to cater for this if it's just going to be switched on only in the evening but if you want to use it around the clock these seven and uh, five amps or seven amps battery is just too small to take your fence all through the night all you need to all through the day the 24 hours all you need to do is to look for a bigger size a 100 watt solar panel and a 33 amps battery or anything higher for this job this uh, charge controller this is a 30 amps uh charge controller a 24 volt anyway a, sorry 12 volt a 12 volt 12 volt 30 amps charge controller i think this is one this is sir uh, this is a charge this is one of the charge controller i use so there's a pwm but it's also very effective very effective this is this card charge controller is very effective so you can get stuff like this and use for your electric fence please desist from using the 30 watt or the 20 watt solar panel ideally you should have a 60 watt panel to be able to cater for your for your electric fence job everybody wants to be happy at the end of the day so i believe with this video if you want it uh yes uh, maybe i don't know if i mean i will do a short a do i need to if i even snap this you might never pick it but this is exactly what you really need for your energizer to function effectively if you're doing it around the clock you want to around the clock you want to put on your energizer for it to work around the clock then you use this 100 watt solar panel 33 amps battery but if you're using um the 5 amps or the 7 amps battery the 12 volts please use is recommend it is recommended you use the 60 watt uh, solar panel so I hope this video will help you in sorting out this issue we're already having. Until we meet in our next class. For our subscriber, I want to say thank you 
for your your kind words for your prayers really appreciate you please do not hesitate to share this video share with your friends if you get it for free also share with others let them understand so that out there our clients will be safe because that should be the purpose of this whole thing just for a secured environment a secured society not you going there to put the life of your client at risk and at the end of the day is paying money so i hope this video will help us to sort every of all these challenges and to meet again in our next class do have a nice day subscribe share and also like this video thanks for watching bye